buddy. How's it going? So, I just want to catch you guys up on the game. I hope y'all can hear me. I'm getting ready to head out. I got invited to this Galentine thing, but I am super sluggish today. Like, it took me forever to just start getting ready. I think more of it, I didn't feel like putting on makeup. And since I didn't feel like putting on makeup, I was dragging. But I know this is an event that I would want makeup on for. So we're going to be a little bit late. But I really did like how my makeup came out. So I got this bag. I'm going to go ahead and return this today. Actually, let me talk to y'all in the car. Because I can hurry up. Honey, what you saying earlier about having a car? Ain't Okay, so, so like I said, I got invited to a Galentine. And I've just been feeling like really sluggish, so it took a lot for me to like get up, start getting ready. But I do like the way my makeup came out. I didn't feel like putting on lashes because I didn't feel like it. And I was gonna wear a different outfit. I was gonna wear like this this metallic -y orange top, but it felt like too much, and I felt like I needed to iron it. And who had time for that? So yeah, I'm gonna head out. Shout out to the person who invited me. She's super sweet, and it's like just one of those events that I don't like going to. I don't like going to certain things empty-handed so i'm gonna stop by kroger i'm thinking i'm gonna get like some croissants or something and also since this is like on a different side of town that i'm not usually on i'm gonna stop by tj maxx and stuff because i haven't returned to tj maxx so i'll stop by them and ross just to see what that side of town has yeah because i want to return this i saw the black one i feel like the black one would be cuter but i i know i already got a lot of black bags so I'm like if it were to be brown, I would want something that a deeper brown, like a cognac chestnut brown, if it was that kind of bag. Hi, if I were to see like a sage green one, oh that would hit. I would get that. I have my hard drives. I do. I don't know where my um what's the name? My little tripod that I like taking with me. I don't know where this vlog is gonna end up going, but yeah, y'all got a Valentine as you. I got a Valentine. I am the Valentine. <laughs> But um, yeah, I hope you guys have a happy Valentine's wherever you're at. Then, um, what can I say? What's the up? Oh, oh. Well, I don't have anything really planned after this, so I don't even know if this will see the light of day or if I'll have other stuff to add to it to vlog. Oh yeah, yesterday. Okay, this is why I feel like I was also dragging today. You know, like if you run out of gas, your gas is a little bit low and you have work the next day. I feel like adulthood and being responsible is knowing to fill up your gas night before just so you say, so you're not like, oh, I'll do it in the morning. That's how I feel about today. Certain things I don't like going empty handed. So I was supposed to go to school classes yesterday. That would have been what would have like got me up and out. So that would have been when I would have ran my little errands. So I was thinking I would have got like, some things from the grocery store yesterday. So now knowing I have to do that stop, I need to like put on makeup and I don't know if you can tell, but like a strong overcast right now. So child, it took a lot. I already messaged the person. I'm like, girl, I'm gonna be running late. So I don't why is this Let me go ahead and put this in the GPS, see how like it goes. Hey, oh my goodness. And also it's someone's house, so it's like a kid bag. You know, it's kind of lax. It's in the GPS. So 800 feet. Merge on hey, girl. Also, this week is Super Bowl Sunday, I believe. Are you guys going to be watching the Super Bowl? I just want to see Usher's perform. Someone was like, he better not bring out Alicia Keys. <laughs> How y'all feel about that? I want to be, I want to be pressed. But I'm not going to be watching the game unless someone, even if someone like randomly invites me to like a, a Super Bowl party, I'm not going to be watching because I don't watch sports. Like, it's interesting. Like, when people ask, like, do you watch sports? And I'm like, no. They're like, oh, who just I don't have no team. Like, do you guys watch sports? Because I really don't like football, soccer. None of that can keep my attention at all. It can't. Even baseball, I can't sit there and watch it. So even when people are trying to go to games, like unless it's like people I know or like want to get to know and I know we're going to have fun or whatever the case, I can't be bothered. And people just be looking at me like I got three heads. No, I can't. I feel like if I really had to sit down and watch the full game, I could probably watch volleyball. I could watch volleyball. But I can't name no teams to you. So, like, people just be so shocked. I'm like, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to make anything up on the spot. I couldn't care less. 
you don't follow sports and people ask you like what's your response these dollar people just like kind of look at you weird oh so i was working on something maybe i was working on my grammy video but whenever i was working on midway through i saw that shannon sharp was live and he was live with monique i saw that so let me just you know looking i think i probably got in like 30 minutes to one hour after it started but i think it was really good i got to understand even more about her and like with monique i know she was always speaking facts the things that used to throw me off about her if you feel like you've been blackballed like you know say it but the point was she told two people on stage to suck her i was just like that's not that's not gonna get far because the reality is even when people are in the wrong they still not trying to hear that. For me personally, if I was in the wrong and you told me to suck your on TV or whatever live, I wouldn't take too kindly to that. So that was the one thing I had. And also the bonnet scene, like, baby, let these people wear their bonnets. <laughs> let them wear their bonnets. And then I would say the other thing that used to throw me off is just like, it seemed like, and I don't know much about her husband, but at least back then it seemed like her husband was stopping stuff. And she kept calling him daddy every two seconds. And I'm just like, ooh, this is too big. Anytime I heard it, I was like, it's too much for me. Like, it was just kind of like, make it cringe a little bit. After hearing her speak about him, when she described her first two marriages, I was like, dang. So I'm happy she has him in her, in her corner. And it makes it seem like he doesn't let the BS ride. So it makes sense. Like, if he's also your manager, he wants your best interest. And, you know, sometimes people want to single you out or have you by yourself. So, like, you don't have, you know, two heads are better than one. It's easier to get over on people and it's easier to corner people in that kind of situation. Then I might ask what she's talking about. Anyway, and then also another thing for me is probably the way I grew up, too. And also seeing certain things, like when people say stuff, like when women say a man taught them how to be a woman. It, it's heavily dependent on tone and context. And I feel like a lot of times... When you hear it on the like on the negative side, say sometimes it's a part of grooming or in a way, um, or just you know other forms of manipulation or whatever. But then on the other hand, sometimes when people say that they mean it in such a way like being around this person taught me to soften up or like at least I had a partner so I knew everything wasn't on me like I could depend on someone else. I feel like for me, what I had to unpack in certain ways is for people. And I, I'm not saying this is just only. I feel like for certain women. If you were never taught how to conduct yourself in different atmospheres, what you deserve, what you don't deserve, or certain qualities, like from your own household, I, I realized that when people say, okay, this man taught me how to be a woman, there's truth there for them, because they may not have had some, some of those lessons taught to them elsewhere. And I feel like all cases, it's not bad, you know? I think sometimes it could be a good thing and that's just their truth, you know what I mean? Like, you know, there are some cases where, like, people are being groomed, they're being molded, but I feel like there are also cases where people genuinely learn more from just being around that person, and that's just their truth. So, it was really interesting to see. Now, if y'all ain't watched, y'all want to skip this part. But what was crazy to me, what do you mean the trailers blew up? What does that mean? When I first heard it, I thought... I thought I heard it wrong, and then she said it again. I said, "Oh, she dead ass. She really, she really, really dead ass." The train was blew up. What? Blow up? And then for that to happen, and the first thing you asked me about is some wigs. Wigs? And my trailer blew up. That is really wild. Uh huh. Uh huh. I know some people are tired of hearing her. Like I said, I told you the things that like maybe, oh, but. Her story hasn't changed. I, I think a little bit of her delivery is what really threw stuff to the side. And it's just like, I feel like delivery acts as a distraction too. And also some people don't like the messenger because, you know, other people have been saying the same thing. Taraji, Viola, all these other people. So I feel like Monique will be good when Monique gets the public apology that she deserves. Because even in stuff like um, Amy, was it Amy S? Amy Schumer, you are giving like that i'm talking about this car you are giving other people millions of dollars and you want to give me a few pounds and i'm happy she won that lawsuit even with taraj benjamin button he got millions and she only got like two three hundred five hundred k 
part of me feels like her team could have done a little bit more but then also it's this idea like if you don't want to do it go find somebody else to go take these scraps so the one thing about when Gabrielle Union was talking about her and uh, several other actresses they kind of have a pact that if they try to lowball somebody and go to the next person they all will deny it so now you can come back to the very first person that you wanted and pay them what they're worth plus tax so it's weird but yeah if you guys have been watching Shannon Sharp, like, what do y'all want to see next on the show? Like, who? Somebody said Fifty Cent to be on there. Now, if Fifty Cent get on there, <laughs> and the way all these interviews be like two, three hours, but they all have stuff to say. You no, know, I'm happy the way it went, and I'll probably watch to get the beginning part that I missed. But it, it's nice to see some of the truth and more things coming to the light because it's like. They these people with their work. People have been reaching the achievements that are like supposed to be like pinnacle of your career and stuff. And well, Oscar winner, Emmy win, whatever it is. And these people not trying to pay you. You still having to fight? Why? Why? Why is your trailer blowing up? Why does your trailer have infestation? Like, it's, it's nice to see more and more people talk about it. So hopefully, people get paid what they need to get paid. Real, real interesting. But I'm gonna focus on this driving to get to where I need to be. Was that I missed my exit? I missed my exit talking to y'all. Let me see if I can find another frog. I'm not trying to turn around. That's what we're not trying to do. Right, I'm gonna talk to y'all. Let me focus. Sparkling Martinelli and add that and I'll be Car. Gonna go to our final destination. This parking lot is so full. It took me forever to find parking. Um, it took me forever to find a Martinelli too. So after I found the Martinelli, I also saw this other brand. I feel like I've had it before. I can't remember. Do you call it Nutson? Coop Nutson? I don't know. But I'm going to keep this for myself. I got the Martinelli and the croissants for them. I love, well, yeah, I love the mini croissants from Kroger. But not every Kroger makes it the same. Or sometimes they have, like, the larger counts in there. They don't be tasting the same. Also, the way the weather be dropping, I thought it was going to be cold or at least it's I'm hot. Like, not all the way hot, but just a little bit hot. Like, is it winter or not? So where am I going? How? We really want to show face at this point. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Here. It's still early in the day, though. Yep, 30 minutes away. Child. It's the thought that counts. It is the thought that counts. I'm going to jam to some music. And I will see y'all when I get there. This instrumental. All right, so we're here. I'm gonna head in. I don't know if I'm gonna record or not, but <laughs> we made it. Thank God. Um, let me go have a good time.
All right, guys. So back in the car, I have my flowers. Y'all probably can't see me, and I have a goodie bag. I'm gonna show you guys that when I get home. Right now, what time is it? It is 6:27. So come and find out. Um, one of the people who attended, I actually know, but I didn't know it was her birthday. Her birthday was yesterday, so she's doing um, like a cute meetup at this restaurant in Midtown. I think I'm just gonna try and stop by TJ Maxx on the way there to do our return. I wanted to go to H&M too, but I'm not sure if I'll make it. And then also I feel like by the time we leave, all of those places will be closed. So we're gonna head over. Also, shout out to host. That was such a good event. And there's so many things, like there's so many little things and so many like big things. I'm like, I would love to do this. I'm gonna tell y'all more when I get home. But yeah, I'll talk to y'all then. Let me set up my GPS. I'm teaching Max. I just wanted to show you what they had. I know where you used to want this bag. Are you still on my wish list? Because online, it looked like it was teal. It's a cute bag. We got this. We got some pieces. Let me get up out of here. The line is like... Hey guys, I'm finally back home. Oh, this has, oh my goodness. I'm finally back home, but I want to give you guys like a little rundown. So, we're gonna take this makeup off in a second. So basically, okay, so the Gallons event was like so cool. It was so nice, it was so well thought of. Like when people are great hosts, it's like I'm constantly like taking notes because I'm just like, wow, I would never think of this. They gave like, ugh, I feel like I have a PR package, but they gave everyone like a, a customized package. And like I had a note to myself i have to finish reading this because i started reading it and the host is like no i didn't want you to read it here so shout out to the host you guys are great but it didn't just it just included so much stuff like we got socks like fuzzy socks or like valentine's day socks yeah i feel like this is a pr package at least i'm practicing for when i get one but like this was so sweet and then um it included all these different things like you know got that i got this lip i'm definitely gonna use this because I feel like even when I have stuff on my lips, I still, my lips still look ashy on camera. I don't know what it is unless I have a lippy on. Then um, there was like a little container of like sunglasses. So like there are different shades of like pink to red. This is such a cute touch. Hold on, let me see. Y'all see me? I can't see nothing when I put these on. I got two things of hand lotion, which is like really, really good. I'm definitely gonna use this one that's um, the chamomile. It even included cuticle oil. I've never bought cuticle oil before. So I'm gonna find a way to use this for real. I don't even really know how to open it. I tried to like, so again, I ran out of space, but um, I even noticed when I came in, when, when you first walk in, there was like a whole bar of like, different like Valentine's Day treats. So it had like chocolate, Skittles, all these things. I'm like, this was such a cute touch. I didn't even see that. Um, and the house was decorated so nice. They have such a nice house. Um, so yeah, this stuff is super cute. I have a sent a thank you. And I, you know what really, really got me? The whole time I was there, all I could smell was flowers. They had a custom flower making. I feel like my flowers are a little janky now. A custom like, you know, where you can make all your flowers. Okay, girl. But like where you can make your flowers and I've just never seen anything like that. Like the thought was immaculate. So this is so cute to me. Like I, can y'all see how cute this is? And it was really nice in my outfit. See, I got that. And what else? The food, the food was really good. And it was so cute. Like I, I took some to go. Like the little shish kebabs that were basically kind of like a capri salad on a kebab with like olives. Like. How do you think of these things? It was so cute. I'm like, okay, I'm just taking so many notes. I'm like, when I host my own event, these are some of the things I want to do. It was just so cute. And then I didn't even think about the idea, like, you know, like chicken and waffles. So they made like heart shaped waffles, but then they got the Chick fil A chicken tender, like the chicken tender shreds. I'm just like, come on now, come on now. So, okay, girl. It was such a cute day overall. 
like i've never had cuticle oil but i could use this because my cuticles maybe suffering a little bit yeah what else what else i went ahead and got my returns in at tj maxx so that was you know great another girl her birthday was like actually yesterday so she was going is it called real taco or our real taco i haven't been there and so the food was good and they brought this flight but i'm so happy that i got my little like duckies <sighs> Yeah, so it was cute. And um, when I went there, what I ordered, I ordered the Vinorita. And I think it was like red wine mixed with tequila, and passion fruit. I usually give towards things that have passion fruit in it. So good. So good. Um, The waiter was like, it's very similar to the passion fruit margarita, but it just had the red wine in it. Um, I'm trying to think, did I forget anything? What else did they have? Y'all, they even had a, like a little area that was for like writing like a letter to your Valentine or to someone you love. They went ahead and bought stamps. Matter of fact, I don't remember the last time I've seen stamps. Y'all know how costly stamps are? Like, they were fully dedicated. So, it was such a cute event. I'm so happy I went. And it really got me out the house. You know, it's hard to get out of the house these days. You know, well, you know, like, when you haven't been out in a while, it's, like, hard to get out. Like, get yourself together. But I'm happy I went. And, it was, you know, it was just such a good time. So, shout out to the host. Shout out to the birthday girl. I need to text her that I got home. This bouquet is really getting to me. Like, y'all having a Galentine's? And you can do it. Think about doing a little, what's the name? A bouquet, like, station. That was so cool to me. Um, What else did they do that was cute? But yeah, they had a snack station. So much food. But I think a lot of people also brought food, too, when they came. Um, And, like, a lot of the ladies who were there were, like, you know, just super cool people. So it was, like, nice vibes. Um, I was trying to think. Do you have some plantain? I'm going to cut up and freeze them. Because I'm very picky. Or selective i should say about my plantains like i don't like them unripe like green because if they're unripe i'm like if i wanted that i would just get yams but i don't like them too ripe unless i'm eating caribbean food like because then i'm in the mindset for it so i'm gonna cut mine up have some parchment paper and i'm gonna put them in the freezer so you can freeze your um plantains if you're thought about it because typically it's just like if i get too many i'm not ready to cut them they'll go bad or they get too soft and i'm not really trying to you know work with that so i'm gonna cut them now while i like still have the energy and sure i can remember um yeah that's basically that's basically about it this is Vaseline, and it feels so good to the touch. And yeah, I rocked my little coach bag. I haven't worn this in, like, forever. And the reason I haven't worn this is because I had it, like, set up in, like, one of my other rooms. Because I thought I was going to give you guys, like, a how to wear red. Because red was trending. I don't know if I'll still do that. Like, if this comes up before that, let me know if you guys still want it. Yeah, I'm going to cut up these mangoes. Well, I have mangoes, too. I'm going to cut those. And I'm going to cut up the plantains. And then ready for bed. So, it was a cute little night. I don't know where this vlog is going to go, but... Yeah, um, it was a nice day outside of the house. Full, full, full cray. Full cray. So I wanted to catch you guys up to speed. You're looking different, of course. Um, I got my prescriptions on. I need to update this prescription. I feel like I'm on a red frame like the other ones that I have. But yeah, today is Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day wherever you guys are. I hope you guys are having a good day. And like, even if you don't have a Valentine, be your own Valentine. I love on you. So um, I just wanted to give you guys an update. I was thinking, you know, what could I do today? Because I didn't have anything really planned. And I figured I could like love on 
my home girl who's always been for me my ride or die which is mina anyway mina is my car <laughs> so i figured i'll go and get an oil change today just drop in also her name is mina because i named her after the actress in mississippi marsala now anytime i mention this movie people don't know what i'm talking about but it has denzel so that's one of my favorite denzel movies and also that and last king of scotland that's what helped me learn or kind of like edged on me me looking more into the history of like india i mean and the indian diaspora all of that anyway so yeah mina's been holding it down she's trying to be faithful she's not always faithful i recorded for one of my birthday vlogs but like girl it's tape on the windows and it's like i remember i tried to fix my own window because the motor stopped working and i bought the part when i finally got a chance to get it installed the person i took it to he was like oh it's off by a button so you gonna need to get another part which costs like a hundred more and labor's gonna be a smooth 400 i'm like I'm good like the, the window has been broken so long i'm used to it and then on top of that is i tried to take my car door apart myself i, I did and i realized i was in over my head so i had to put it back together and realize i messed up another window then on top of that a deer knocked my car door handle off so <laughs> so mina's been through a few things so i was like the least i can do is take her to get an oil change i'm not pressed to fix the window because i feel like as i've been saying and putting it out into the universe i'm gonna have a new car it's going to be an electric vehicle um and it's gonna fall from the sky with no car note everything paid for so um i'm like i'm not too pressed to make updates to my car it's, it is an older car too for me but yeah i'm gonna see if i can get an oil change i called them up now the people i called up i usually don't go to them i go further out just because they be lying there's a time when i needed a new battery so i'm like okay since mina is one of the newer cars i've ever had because i've always driven cars damn near older than me so i tried to make sure i would go to the dealership so i went up there and there's a time when there's a recall kia stays having recalls i don't think i would ever buy another kia even though they're affordable when they work they work when they don't it's annoying so so um what happened so i went to them to get a new battery but they had had a recall on my car but they kept trying to make it look like it was me i'd already been there a lot like this was a process that took like maybe six months of me not having a car and of course they didn't have loaner vehicles oh it was hell since i was there so often one of the guys who worked there he was like unk he knew who i was so the last time i went to go get my battery changed there he pulled me to the side and he was like oh because like, i think i had been there maybe like two hours plus so i was like okay so what's the update like what's going on he pulled me to the side he said i'm gonna be real with you what they're doing right now they're waiting for someone to go up the street to go to auto zone or auto advance get you a battery buy it bring it back labor it as kia and sell me the battery as key i'm like how y'all don't even have a battery so ever since then i'm like i'm off y'all the only thing i'm coming to y'all is for an oil change and usually i don't even go to the convenient location i go to the other location that's a bit further out and they don't have as good of a lounge room but i'm like off that because you know like if you get your battery from like AutoZone, not only do you have the warranties which is like two to five years but they will put it in the car for you so you mean to tell me as a whole dealership y'all did not have a battery y'all had me out here waiting for you to go up the street 10 minutes get a battery and sell it to me as your own i can't i can't everybody's so greedy everybody want to be greedy everybody want to be greedy i just I can't explain it so if you ever need a battery depending on the type of car if you got a fancy car i can't i can't talk to you but you got you know a little old faithful just go straight to autozone because they're gonna be playing in your face they literally had me waiting and they just didn't have the battery and they're gonna sell me an autozone battery anyway so we're gonna go there because they like their lounge waiting area so i'm gonna try and work on a few things check some of my accounts make sure everything's up to date and work on some editing y'all so like i picked out the songs i wanted for this vlog i didn't know i was gonna be recording this today and I said, you know, let me just do a run a check. Baby, the way all those songs got copyright. And then the main song I wanted to use was, y'all know I love Back on 74 by Jungle. Full Crate, if you guys happen to know Full Crate. He has the most, uh, the most beautiful flip mix, remix on it. And I, I don't think I can use it. So I don't know how people get around this. Y'all let me know. Because at this point, I don't even know where to go to buy the song. But yeah, that's basically what's up. I don't know where I might end up today. I'm going to do some returns while I'm out or maybe after they finish with my car. But yeah, let's go get this day started. I think I'm going to get some uh, Chipotle salad to hold me while I'm there. And then I don't know if I said y'all have some strawberries. I'm going to probably cut those up to take with me. But yeah, we're going to go show Mina some love because she needs some love. I'm not going to tell you guys the last time I had an oil change because it's actually shameful. I don't know how that car is still running, but we move baby we move so then i head out i'm gonna see y'all there yeah, so i'm here 
they quoted me a two hour wait which isn't bad i can get a lot done in two hours but um, i might need to forgive them because this lounge just really nice um she was telling me like oh when you're ready you can go to the keurig and get some coffee and stuff what i want to know they have so many options and there's so many different places to sit like i think they added this this is like a it's kind of a work zone it's like a high table and it has all the plugs it's like perfect so I'm just gonna get situated, start working. Yeah, we're gonna get some stuff done. I feel like I had some other stuff to tell y'all, but I don't remember. Um, but I got my Chipotle. I actually got here like 10 minutes before two. And the guy, he gave me that look. I was like, are you still on TV? And he just started laughing. Um, so we made it. Mina is finally getting some love. So I can cross that off of my little 12 week year planning thing that I have set up. And yeah. So we keep getting situated and maybe later on I might get a drink or something like that. Alright, so we're back in the car. They got her right. They finished in an hour. I'm actually kinda salty because I was trying to I was trying to figure out things with Xfinity and Xfinity gets on my nerves because I feel like they're in because I was on there maybe close to an hour the whole time trying to talk to them and they raised my bill you know how they be doing that so they damn near doubled it so i'm like okay so what's changing what can you do to fix this and after they doubled it they were like oh well, we can give you even more than twice the speed for basically the same amount anyway so i'm pissed about that but they finished my car in an hour i said okay but when i was coming you know how like they be trying to add stuff to your bill when you go to get your car done so i'm like i don't want nothing else they're like do you want a car wash i said no nothing why was a car wash included why, why wouldn't you tell me that anyway they they did pretty well and they got me out here quick so she was like when i come back i need to do a cabin air replace engine air filter replacement front and rear brakes whatever rotors whatever the case may be i feel like those um air filters won't be hard to replace on my own so i'm gonna look into that and then what y'all think about those um brakes like is that normal they called me 289 for both is that what it's supposed to be because i need to know if they're playing in my face or not i'm gonna go ahead and head to the mall because i saw something at akira online that i want to try out um just see what it looks like in person and then i can just you know keep an eye on it um but other than that like this will be my first vlog that i put up so you guys let me know if you like this if this was cool did you guys get to know a little bit more about me that kind of thing so so yeah, I need these cars to start moving because y'all start, you know, start making me off. But yeah, I'ma um head to the mall, run a couple errands, head back home, and try to get this up to you guys. Yeah, this ain't Texas. Okay, I'll, I was just checking. Um, I like it. I like Texas Hold'em. Sixteen carriages is beautiful, but it's a little bit. It's sad. It's sad. I'ma I'ma read the lyrics. Cause I've heard people, you know, talk in depth on it. But I like Texas Hold'em, like, and her voice just melts so easy into country because there is no time and place that that woman is accepting an award or talking to people, which she don't know talking to people, but she's always quick to say, I'm just a country girl from Houston or I'm just a country girl from Texas and all her stuff. She always says that. So um, I'm excited. I really do like Texas Hold'em a lot. And none, none of it is forced. And then also when I was talking to my friends, they were like, you know, when the album dropped, they want to see, um, you know who I really want to see? I really want to see T-Pain. I want to see T-Pain because the way, what was that? Was it Tennessee Whiskey or something that he was singing? He was singing so well. And him saying like he's written, he wrote country before, but he just stopped using his name on it because he would get so many threats and backlash, which is just so crazy. Like y'all got nothing better to do? It's just so weird because when you listen to the songs, especially the songs are good. Not political, they're not. It's weird. Also, I want to see um Dixie Chicks. I have a special place in my heart for Dixie Chicks. Um, who else would I want to see? Uh, I'm excited. Um, my friend was telling me about someone else, and I saw people talking about her too. What's her name? I'm excited for the um country album. I'm for it, and I got a cowboy boots at the house. Who else? So a lot of people think that the next album will be rock. I don't know. If the next album is rock, I need Paramore. I need Paramore front and center. And the way her played the hell out of that guitar, I know her was playing like that. I know her for like R and B. I didn't know she could play the guitar. Like it was, it was very Prince coded. 
so if she does if she does rock i need her on there too who else but I, i'm really excited for um country and you know some people have said like um what's the word going after genres you know that were close to her things like that because you know with renaissance with house dance spoke that kind of sound and you know with her uncle and all those things that being close and then country she's a country girl but people are like maybe she's just like reclaiming all the genres that were pioneered by black people like infinity stones like just collecting the stones like Thanos. and i'm here for it i'm all the way here for it it's a versatility for me but what i love so much about her in a country it's just it's just so smooth it sounds so natural it's just her anyway we're gonna go into small i have my h&m returns and then i'm gonna stop by akira to look at the shirt that i saw online to see if it's something i can keep my eye out on and if so like just to know my size when it goes on sale because they have a steep steep sales um i got no water so we're gonna go in right here uh, xfinity still gets on my nerves but a car driver's smoothly, okay, Mina. You know, because you got a little washer, you're trying to add brand new. So, yeah, let's go in. Oh, so, this is the top. It's very boozy, but it's kind of cute what it's doing. But this is the extra large that has stretch to it. It's very up here. I don't know. I like it. It's different. I'm going to try to size it smaller to see if it covers up some of the. I don't like it. Even like it zipped up, so this is the large. It feels okay, the arms are tight, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and go with the extra large. Yeah, I like this. It's different. Yeah, like a little statement, please. I feel like this here is quite deep. Okay, let me keep trying this stuff on to start undoing all of the zippers that really, really sets it apart. Yeah, like I'm gonna wait for a long day. I'm gonna shut off with the zipper. Oh, I just stick my skin. Not bad. It's just funky. It's like an edgy YCK, if you will. Yeah, I like that one. I'm going to try the other one on one more time. These are more comfy. These are just crazy cute. I feel like the heel would be too high for me. This I can't zip up, but these are really comfortable. Really, really comfortable. Oh. These are really comfortable. I just can't get them. You know I want you, baby. I'm ready to bend it on the flesh you can care and on the you know I want you. You should stop from there. The other day we realized I'm dragging her with me to this event. So she's like, well, what are you going to wear? So we get to my room. This is all of us. So even when we're like, pull everyone. Guys, we found this back. If anyone listens to what I said, what I said, Valentine's Day but you know what I thought about it and I think this would be a great time to get rid of toxicity and with that toxicity I'm getting rid of my Xfinity rental it's time I already bought replacement um, modem or whatever you call it I got rid of cable some years ago it's just like I don't I don't need it I don't you know it was just like a waste of money because like literally I would only watch like one or two shows so cable isn't a big deal and I'm just looking at it like being my home like going on four years now i could have easily bought like a top tier modem while i've been renting from xfinity i think it's like a 15 dollars is like 180 a year i gotta double check that math and i'm like four times four yeah let's stop playing and it's like you know when you start cutting back on certain things you just realize how much money you feel like you've been wasting or just how like you know those small things just add up so when we get home, I bought a modem, I believe. No, 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 I bought a router. Child, I don't even know the difference. A routers are for Wi-Fi, right? I'll show you guys the router I have, and if you guys have used it before, let me know if it's like a good model or not. But anytime like my contract runs out with Xfinity, like they be having me all the way after up. Like I shouldn't be paying no crazy amount for Wi-Fi. When we get to this house, we're going to figure out how to connect this thing. Because when I get home, I'm going to just check and see if there are other services in my area. Because when I moved in, there just weren't any. And I'm sick of it. Like, honestly, like, if I'm just doing Wi-Fi, 
I shouldn't be paying more than $40, $50 max. Like, anything else, y'all playing in my face. Because I don't want, I don't want mobile. I don't want phone with y'all. I don't want, I don't want nothing. I just want my Wi-Fi. And if y'all can't do that, we need some competition. That's what we need. Because, yeah, people are so, the corporate greed is too much. I'm going to focus on getting home. And I'll talk to y'all when I get there. Alright, so I'm back home. I wanted to show you guys. This is the router that I got. Let me figure out how to install this. It's the AX1800 Dual, whatever the heck. This is, uh, I don't even know who it is. I thought it was um, Eris or somebody. Is this a no-name brand? I don't know, but I'm, I'm going to try to install this. If you guys have anything similar to this, let me know. I don't know what this is, but we're going to try and make it work. It's Wi-Fi 6 router. We're going to install it and let go of that toxicity. So, um, if you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, this is my very first vlog to make it up. So, let me know what you guys think. Like, I feel like it would be cool for you guys to know a little bit more about me. And, you know, we'd be able to talk about something where it's not, like, super, super serious. Because I feel like sometimes I be coming off like, real serious in some of my videos. But I just be trying to get, like, all of my points across. But, yeah, I'm going to install this. I'm going to keep listening to the podcast. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day to everybody. I hope you guys had a great time today. If anything, just that you relaxed and had some me time if you weren't, you know, out and about with anyone. And that's okay. It's not by force. It's not by fire. All right. Hey, y'all. So, at this point, y'all probably think I'm crazy. This whole time I was talking about a router... I thought you could just get Wi-Fi with a router. I didn't know you still needed a modem. I thought a modem meant you wanted cable, which I don't want and I don't need. So this will probably be going back. You know, it's, you know, it's nice and sleek. And I went ahead and ordered this. It's a Motorola something, but it kind of came dinged up and like, I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know, but I'm gonna give this a try. Cause we still trying to let go of this toxicity even though it doesn't want to get let go of um buy y'all for real like we gonna talk some other time but while we're here i have um some classes later today wish me luck if you guys decide to get me to swimming you know because of me let me know okay bye for real bye bye bye